Hello YouTube friends, welcome to my channel. Today's uh, video is actually going to be about adding natural elements to your artwork. And I'm going to be doing just that on this particular panel. I am going to add a rock here and there are a couple different ways of doing it and I'm going to show you two different ways that I do it. So I'll see you on the other side. A little stone here it's fairly flat smooth and round and you can pretty much do anything you want but this is what I have and my first thing that I'm going to do with this is I'm actually wherever I'm going to place this on my piece I'm going to actually trace it with um, a heat erase pen and I kind of like to angle my pen in and under the piece a little bit because I want it to be a little smaller than the actual outside dimensions of the rock. So I'm going to trace that around all the way so I can see it. Once I have it traced, I'm going to now divide it into fours. I'm just going to make little dash marks, dividing that into fours. And then I'm going to go ahead and divide into eighths. I've chosen my thread that I'm going to be using and it's it's an embroidery thread and I just recommend that you use whatever embroidery thread that you have um, and use a needle that will work according to your thread. I have knotted it on the end and what I'm going to do is I have a pretty good length maybe about um, probably a yard and a half um, so I have plenty to work with. So each of my division marks, I'm going to bring my needle up at those spots and go down to the next one just to create loops. And I'm not going to make them super tight loops, just kind of loose. And so I'll go down in this one and I'll make it so my needle pops up at the next one. So there's my first loop and what I'm going to do is actually come back down in that same hole that the first loop went down into. So I'm just going to continue all the way around hitting each of my little tick marks and making a stitch between each one. And if you want to, you can try and do this in you know, a couple different motions that you can come back up the same one that you just came out of. And then it'd be different. You go down in this one, come up through the next. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that all the way around and then come back for the next step. Now that I've done all the stitches in between each tick mark, what I like to do is actually come up inside in between midway in one of the loops. So I'm going to come up in between right that one right there and pull my thread through. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and place my little stone in there. And this is going to be kind of hard to show, but I'll try to do it um, <laughs> as best I can because it's kind of underneath the stone. So I'm, I'm laying my thread across the top of my stone 
and then I'm going to go to the not the loop I had the loop where I'm coming out from and then I had the next loop so I'm going to go under I'm going to go over that loop and through it and then make sure I stay on top of my thread that's laying across here I don't want to go under it you can kind of see the loop that that has created now I'm not pulling it super tight um, and, I'm gonna go, and what I'm going to do is go to the next one so I'm always working in the same direction so I'm going to go to the next loop go over it through it and stay on this side on top of the working thread that's laying on the stone and I'll pull that loop up like that and go ahead and go to the next one so I'm going over the loop then through it and I want to make sure I go on top of this thread that's on the stone and then pull that not too terribly tight okay I'm laying my thread now over the stone going to the next loop going over it through it staying on top of my working thread and pulling that up I'm just going to keep on doing that over through and in front of my working thread over through and staying on top of my working thread. Now, if you've ever done a, oops, if you've ever made a dream catcher, it's pretty much the same kind of stitch. And I will tell you the, the first, or the second row is the toughest. After we get that done, the third row will make it easier because it's going to really pull up tight around the stone. You don't have to worry about it moving. <clears throat> okay, I have my thread laying on top. Now I'm going to go over the next loop, through it, and up over my working thread. Laying it on for stone, going over the loop, through it, and in front of my working thread. Okay. And I got one more to do. I'm going to lay this across the stone, go over my loop, through it. Okay, at this point, this is when I'm just going to be pulling my threads up as much as I can so that while I'm working around, you can see them. But the previous rows loops are the ones that we are going to be working into. So doing the same thing, keeping your thread laying on top of the stone, you're going to go through the next loop. I can show it to you. Going over through the next loop, staying in front of my working thread, and pulling that up. Okay. You can see the next loop. It's right here. So I'm going over it, and then through it. Here's the next loop. Over it, and through it. So it's kind of making a little net around. And I got my thread laying over. Here's my next loop here. So I went over it, through it. The next one. 
next loop. All right, let me see if I can get this a little better aligned for you to see. All right, I'm laying my thread down across the stone, going over that loop and through it. The next loop is right here. Sometimes you have to come in from an angle, whatever is easiest. Kind of see how that's working out there. <clears throat> it's getting to where it's easier now to keep it in place. All right, I got one more loop from the previous row to go through. Now, obviously you can take this as far as you want. I'm gonna go ahead and do another row around and basically you can see on top every loop that you'll be, be going through. So it's just a space between the previous knots. So just making sure that your, your working thread is laying across your stone. Go underneath, over and through the loop, always working in the same direction, and pulling that up. Now I find if I pull this way, I do tend to, I can pull my knot a little tighter. Before, If I go this way, it's not really pulling it up tighter. It's just kind of yanking it. All right, so I'm going to this one next. And once you've done it as many times around as you want to do it, then you would go ahead and just knot it off. And then I will follow the threads down to the fabric and tie it off, go through the fabric and tie it off in the back. So I think I will just go ahead and knot that now. So I just find a thread that I want to follow down and basically I'm just going underneath and just pretty much twisting around. And then once I get to the bottom, I'll go ahead and go down through the fabric to the back. And then on the back side, I'll go ahead and knot it. All right, there is our natural element, our stone that's been stitched onto our art piece. 
and this is just a really pretty lacy design and there's another design that I will show you next week. I hope you are all staying well and happy and next time have a great one. Bye for now.